that a four-year-old girl is now in a hospital in Kolkata after she was allegedly sexually molested at a prominent school yesterday. And the accused is a physical education teacher, we're told. Uh, let's go across to Moni. Moni, uh, what exactly happened? Like I said, this is extremely disturbing. What is uh, this news about the physical education teacher being involved? Of course, as we know, as what we've seen, what happened in a case in Delhi. First, they, they arrested the bus conductor. Now they're not sure if the bus conductor was actually responsible. Take us through what details you have on this case, please. I have a copy of the... I have a copy of the... FIR uh, filed by the family and uh, in that they categorically say that the girl said that it was the CT master who molested her inside the school toilet and uh, right now we believe that the, the concerned accused teacher is being questioned by the police. He could not be found initially but this morning he was detained and is being questioned at the police station. Uh, this girl, uh, when she came out of school last evening, again according to the FIR, uh, she, uh, the uh, mother saw that uh, she had blood stains on her clothes, and uh, there is a little confusion about whether she sent the child back into school uh, or not. But anyway, they took her to her pediatrician, who immediately identified the problem as uh, sexual assault, and send them back to police who escorted them to a government-run hospital for tests. What happened at the test, that those details are not with us yet. The girl we believe is still in hospital. But in the meantime, uh, very, very agitated parents are at the gate of this particular school, which is a prominent girls' school in Kolkata, and they are demanding the swiftest action, not just against the PT teacher, but against the school, because Back in uh, November 2014, there had been a similar case uh, at that same school, which had led to a huge furor. And at that time, it was found that there were no CCTV cameras in the school. A girl had been molested uh, by two men who were apparently outsiders, uh, and, but there was no CCTV footage to confirm who they were, and the police had a tough time tracking those two men down. This time too, and I was on the phone uh, when I uh, was, you know, started speaking to you, I have just been told that the CCTVs are still not in place in the school. So apparently the administration has started putting in CCTV cameras in various other schools that come under it, that is under the, you know, umbrella of the organization. But in this particular school, CCTVs are not in place yet. Uh, the argument I was put forward is, you know, if the molestation happened in the toilet, how could you have uh, a CCTV in the toilet? But that is perhaps not the moot question. The moot question is that if there had been CCTVs around, then the man who went into the girl's toilet and molested her, he would have been captured on camera. That is not there. Parents agitated and angry and teachers are uh, hunkering inside school. Uh, expressing helplessness uh, about what to do next. But a horrific incident, a four-year-old girl uh, molested, abused, and traumatized uh, after seeing her.